What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I um, haven't shown you my F-150 lately, the supercharged lining swap. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys an update on that truck and I'm gonna give you guys an update on my brother's lightning and on the red SVT lightning. So uh, let's jump in the garage and go see him. All right, so I just got off work. So as you can see, it's kind of late. But uh, we're gonna see what's up with the new F-150. We got our E85 55 gallon tank up here. We'll just come live. So there you go guys, here's the F-150. If you guys could see I did a 2-4 drop. So man, it looks damn good with them center lines, 17s. Looks nice. So uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about this drop. I had this drop before like six or seven years ago, uh, whenever the truck was NA. I was running my 20 inch Harley wheels replicas and I had this drop and man, she looked pretty damn good. But I took it off, I was tired of being low. Um, and on this truck, I, I tow a lot of stuff, I put a lot of stuff in the back, my ATVs, all kinds of stuff, the welding machine, everything. So I'll show you guys the welding machine in a bit, but uh, everything, man, we use it for everything. So I was like, you know what? put it back to stock and I uh, kept it like that. So I got these wheels and then started doing the supercharged swap and did everything. So I was, you know what? I'm gonna put the drop again and, and, and see how it looks. I know it's gonna come out pretty damn good and man, I love it guys. Uh, comment down below guys, what you guys think about this drop and how it looks. So I'm gonna walk you, I'm gonna walk around. So show you guys the truck. So it's a two, four drop. I love the way it looks on the back, man. Big fat tires. So, man, it looks nice. It rides super smooth. I don't have any complaints about it. So, look, I'll just jump on top of it. And no, it doesn't hit. And I weigh 200 pounds. So, not even the tires rub or anything on the inside or the outside. When it travels, the suspension is traveling pretty good. The tires don't even touch. So, if, if, something would have happened we would have known by now but i looked on the inside and the outside and everything's good because uh, these are 390s they're pretty wide and show you guys i'm still gonna send it out to get aligned it has a little bit of a camber but uh we'll get that fixed it's not gonna be 100 percent like original if you guys can see it's a little bit camber um if you guys want to do uh complete alignment on them like perfect alignment you got to get the 4.6 drop that comes with adjustable upper control arms or the uh, modified ones that come already with them the upper and lower control arms and you'll be able to uh, I'll do the alignment excellent so with a 2.4 drop it's it's the two inch uh, drop springs and on the back the flip so it, you won't get as much as a perfect alignment but it's going to work it's not going to finish your tires through the inside so Man, I like the way it came out. I love it. Um, what can I say, guys? But, uh, right, guys, so here's the SVT Lightning. So I haven't posted this truck in a while, but I'll get to that in a bit. As you guys can see, the truck doesn't have an engine because this baby, she's getting a built full-blown motor. So uh, the engine's already ready at the shop. Um, it should have been here two months ago, but due to the COVID-19 situation, the shop closed down. So uh, this thing's gonna be putting a lot of power down, guys. It's getting, uh, well, the engine, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of update on the engine. It's the same 5.4 block, 20 over, uh, forged pistons, rods, bearings, uh, crank. Uh, the heads uh, have new valves. Uh, they were worked on, stage three cams. The whole nine yards, guys. So it's gonna go full blown. She's gonna be whippled, or maybe I think he was telling me that he's gonna do a turbo kit he's gonna do his own uh turbo kit so we still don't know but uh that, that's where she sits now guys uh, give you guys an update he's been doing a lot of stuff when he's bought his drag pack also race stars skinnies 17s by four and a half in front and uh, 17s by 10s in the back so he's doing a lot of stuff to the truck uh, i'll show you guys he also sent out the, the stock grill to get it uh, gloss black painted. I'll show you guys on this side. 
the upper and lower were painted gloss black. So man, it looks, I love it, it looks nice, stands out. For the silver and the black, looks nice. And he also had the windows tinted completely black. Then he's gonna do his front windshield. Uh, but man, this truck's gonna be pretty good once it's out. Uh, we're just waiting on when are we gonna go pick up the engine, that's it, because uh, he's in college now, getting some stuff done, and I'm, I've been working a lot, so thank God for that. So once the engine's, uh, once we set up the date, We'll go pick it up and I'll put a video guys when we start dropping the new engine in and uh, I'll show you guys the Cadillac. So it's sitting up here. Uh, my brother actually, he's, uh, he's in Chicago. Uh, he's gonna come back in November or December if everything goes well, he works out there. So uh, the car is sitting on jack stands. Why? So the tires won't mess up. Cause if you leave the tires for uh, like maybe for a week sitting on the weight of the car, especially the, the foot drags. They kind of temp, when you're driving, they kind of vibrate a little bit until they adjust. So that's why we have it there. So that's where the CTO is sitting at. So let me tell you guys about the red F1, the red F-150 SVT Lightning. So on the red uh, Lightning guys, uh, as you guys saw in the last video, the engine was knocking pretty damn bad. So um, what I said, I was like, it might be the rods, something's wrong. And yes, we took out the engine. We sent it out because uh, the guy that sold the engine, he's like, you know what? I'm going to pay for whatever the, the engine had. So send it to this shop. So we went and took out the engine and took it to that shop. So they were taking care of that. And the guy called us up. He's like, hey, man, three of the rods were loose. The crank was burned. I was like, yep, I knew it. So um, I'm a mechanic, compressor mechanic. I work in the oil field industry. So I um, almost every day... Every other day I encounter problems like this with big caterpillar engines, small engines, you know, depends. So it's a similar thing to the uh, normal engine. So when I heard the the noise and the knock, I was like, you know what? Bearings are are, are, are gone. Something's, something's wrong with the crank and the bearings. But yeah, I don't have any pictures, guys. I wish I could show you some pictures. I don't have any. So the engine's getting built. Uh, once it comes back from that shop, we'll get it installed. The lining's outside on the other side of the shop. Uh, still looks the same, red, has everything back in there, but except the engine. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys that small update so you guys can see what's up with the F-150, my brother's Lightning, and the red Lightning, guys. So, oh, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. All right, so talk about superchargers, intercoolers, and we got them up here. So one of them is for sale, guys, a complete kit. If you guys want a supercharger kit for sale, we have one for sale. Um, I think the only thing it's not going to bring is the pulley bridge, but you, you can find that on eBay or on the Facebook or Instagram Fort Lightning pages. But it's going to come with everything else, guys. It comes with a big turkey pan, supercharger, throttle body, EGR, everything. Injectors. Um, I don't know if my brother's going to throw in the fuel lines, but... We got three superchargers. This is my brother's SVT supercharger for the, for his uh, SVT Lightning, the silver one. Uh, this is the supercharger from the red one, and we we have this one for sale. So if somebody wants it, let me know. Hit me up on my Instagram at Boosted Life 294, or on the comments. And uh, oh, and that's the welder I throw in on this truck before. So my R1 in the back. So if you guys are interested in a supercharger, just hit me up. I have one for sale, like I said. Uh, you just paid the shipping, but uh, that's about it, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick update and quick rundown on what's going on here at the shop. And uh, I hope you guys stay safe with this COVID-19 situation is going up. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for my new subscribers. You got to hit that 2,000 subscribers mark. And thank you guys. I appreciate every single one of you guys. God bless.